In this lesson, we're going to learn how to divide a multi-digit number with a decimal by using the partial quotients algorithm. For this lesson, we're going to divide 2,000, or I'm sorry, 200, 72.7 by 9. Now just like with the partial products algorithm, when we're dividing by a number with a decimal, we're going to assume that decimal isn't there until the end, and then we're going to add it back in. Now the way we do the partial quotients algorithm is we want to break down this dividend of 2,727 by using our factor 9. So I like to use friendly factors first to find a multiple of 9 that will, when multiplied by 9 will get us close to 2,727 but not over. So I like to first mentally test out a couple of numbers. Some friendly factors that I like to use are always multiples of 10. I like to start with 10 and then move to 100. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 10 mentally first, and I know that's 90. That's nowhere close to 2,727. So I'm going to try 9 times 100. 9 times 100 is 900. That's closer to our dividend, and we know that's not over. So I'm going to try 9 times 100 first. We need to write our factors over to the right. I'm going to write 100 over to the right because that's what we're going to multiply 9 by first. And I'm going to write the product of 9 times 100 underneath our dividend, assuming that our decimal is not there and lining up my places just like this, very nice and neat so we don't confuse our subtraction. Now we need to subtract our dividend by our factor, or by our product of 9 times 100, which is 900. We need to trade first anywhere that there's a digit on the top that's larger than the bottom. Let's look in our ones place. 7 is larger than 0, 2 is larger than 0, 7 and our hundreds place is smaller than 9, so we need to borrow from the 2, make our 2 a 1, and I'm going to write that up top here. And we're going to make our 7 a 17, because we borrowed a 10. Now let's start our subtraction. 7 minus 0 is 7. 2 minus 0 is 2. 17 minus 9 is 8. and one minus nothing is one. So now we have a new dividend of 1,827. That's much closer and much easier to break down now. Now let's see what we can multiply nine by again to get it closer to our new dividend of 1,827 but not over. We could try nine times 100 again because we already know that that's 900. But I want to get as close as I can, so if 9 times 100 isn't enough, I want to try to double that to another power of 10. And let's double that to 200. If 9 times 100 is 900, 9 times 200 would be like multiplying 9 times 2 and then adding our two zeros. 9 times 200 would be 1,800. Let's put our new dividend in. and then now let's subtract. We don't need to trade first anywhere, so we can begin to subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7, 2 minus 0 is 2, and we know that we will be putting zeros in the next two columns because 8 minus 8 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0, but I'm not going to put my zeros in because we really don't need twos. So now our new dividend is 27. We need to think, what can we multiply by 9 to get as close as we can to 27 but not over? And at this point, when you start really breaking your, di your dividend down, you could start to see, if you know your multiplication facts, 9 times 3 equals 27. So I'm going to put my 3 over here because it's my factor that I multiplied by 9. And we're going to put our new product here, 27. 
When we subtract 27 from 27, we get 0. Now you won't always have an, a 0 at the bottom. Sometimes you'll have a 1, a 2. You, you'll, any number that you have is going to be your remainder. The key to know when to stop dividing is when this number on the bottom is smaller than your divisor. When the number down here on the bottom can't be broken up into equal pieces of your divisor, then you stop. In this case, we have a remainder of zero. Now we know that we can add up our factors on the right-hand side to find out what our quotient is. I'm going to start with my ones column. Three plus zero plus zero is three. Zero plus zero is zero. And two plus one is three. Now we have an answer. However, we are not finished. We need to remember about this decimal. We have to count to the places in our dividend that we have to the right of the decimal. In this case, we only have one place to the right of the decimal. So in our number 303, we assume, even though we don't see a decimal, that our decimal is all the way to the right after our ones place just like there's one place to the right of our decimal and our quotient and our dividend there needs to be in our quotient as well so we're going to move this one place to the right right between the zero and the three and our quotient our answer will be thirty point three I'm going to write remainder zero just so we can remember what this zero stands for just in case there actually was were to be a remainder.